Hello everyone, I'm Fletch and today I'm going to be doing a challenge uh, that was put up by uh, the Harley Road Show uh, and it's called uh, Motor Vlogging in during the COVID-19 lockdown. Now before I begin though, I would like to do a shout out to a new channel uh, and the name of the channel is The 508 Diner. Uh, his channel has uh, some bills, some uh, trend, uh, wrenching, they've even got uh, some rides as well of course, uh, he rides a diner and uh, what he does is that, which is unique, is that he does some dual vlogs with a couple of riders as well so very interesting, check it out, the 508 diner, I'll put it in the cards above and in the description below. So the challenge is called motor vlogging uh, in the COVID-19 lockdown, let's take it to the road. This challenge was put up by the Harley Road Show and uh, the challenge was to do a water vlog during this COVID-19 lockdown uh, and the premise was that you're supposed to do it within two kilometers. Before we continue, I'd like to do a nomination quickly. Uh, first to the Deluxe Chimp, Bells Rides and the Blue Bike and Doyle. So what you got to do is try and do a little vlog or come up with something interesting. Uh, the Harley Road Show came up with something pretty interesting as well. And uh, I thought that today what I'll do, my take, would be to take you as a tour guide to all the uh, places around here. So let's go. I'll probably take it a little bit slow uh, so that you can get to see stuff. Um, all these buildings that you see around you is the government built apartment blocks uh, which we all live in most of them are the same colors uh, some changes a little bit but they're all designed about the same like lego blocks as you can see around here now we all live in a multicultural and multi-religious society here in singapore there's in all places as well and right in front of me is a catholic church which i do go to here and in front of me are all the little shop houses that uh, has dessert stalls and barbers and uh, and even some little uh, food shops as well. And on the left hand side here, this little hill is actually a kind of a playground, dog walk, jogging track and even has a little gym. So I want to give you a aerial view. These are the stairs that's leading up to it and on the right hand side is a big open field uh, that normally on Sundays or Saturdays on the weekends people will be playing soccer they'll be doing some cricket and also I saw one guy once putting or practicing his golf there 
On the right hand side, uh, the industrial park where all the building, all the industrial factories are, medical, IT, and so forth. Now the structure in the front uh, that's uh, suspended, it, it looks as it is, it's actually a train station. And I'll talk about the train station in just a bit. Uh, talking about multi-religious, uh, being a multi-religious society, this of course is the mosque. Let me get in front of this guy. And on the right hand side you have a Buddhist temple. So the good thing about the way this neighborhood is designed in all the major neighborhoods, in fact all the neighborhoods, is that um, everything is easy to reach. Um, you have everything from train stations to big malls, like the one we're coming up to. So on the right hand side, you can see the train is there. And that's the first major train station. And if you need to get to the train station, normally like those buses in front, the green ones, uh, that's what you take uh, if you, no matter where you are, you can actually take it to the train station. This is a mall. Uh, it's called North Point City and basically it's about the size of three football fields. Fun fact, it has 500 different stalls, I think 25 or 30 percent of which are food and beverage outlets besides the rest. And on this side here, next to the mall, is a cinemaplex. I think it's about 10 cinemaplexes inside, so basically you could come here shop, eat, and watch a movie. Now all these motorcycles on the side here, basically they're all the food delivery guys. I salute them because they right now in the COVID-19 lockdown, these are the guys that's feeding Singapore. So I already salute them. Because we can't uh, eat in restaurants anymore. And what it is is that we will order out and we will then have these fine ladies and gentlemen to uh, bring it to our homes, right? So, uh, really a godsend, these guys. I uh, can see they're everywhere. And uh, yeah. So the big shopping mall and straight ahead you can see uh, the trains. Um, basically the way it's designed and the reason why they designed it this way is because the government wanted to decentralize. Uh, the main shopping belt is a place called Orchard Road in Singapore. And what happened was that, you know, we have 5 million people, if a third of which go to that place, that's a million people or more that's hanging out, right? So by putting the Cinemaplex or decentralizing everything and putting all everything within reach of about 10 minutes if you ride, 15-20 uh, minutes if you, if you take a bus or walk to get to wherever that you need to do or what you need to get. And I mean these shopping centers that, that we have are equipped with, I would say equipped, right? They all have all the things that you need, clothes, electronics, uh, the, all the bank, all the major banks are there, and uh, what it is, is that then you can just about do everything that you need to do, and you don't have to go to a crowded place, not that it's not crowded here, uh, you know, uh, there's still a lot of people. I was mentioning the buses, uh, these are the buses that are there. So, uh, the good thing about all the neighborhoods in Singapore, uh, everything is within reach. You could get uh, just about everything that you want, right? You got uh, just across from where you live. Normally there are a couple of shops that has local dishes and, and stuff like that if you need to eat. Uh, here's another fun fact, the Singaporeans in general, or the people in Singapore, 
love their food, man. I mean, it, 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 there's, there's impossible to not find a place to eat here. And then normally within like two, three minute walk. And if you want something a bit more fancy, you come to the mall, right? And, and I've never seen a mall that doesn't, even if it's the smallest one, has no food, right? And, and here, you, of course, you have uh, the whole mix of fast food and you got French and you got uh, Southeast Asian, you got Indian, you got French, if I remember correctly, you even got some German food. Um, all that within uh, this particular location. The place that I took a uh, U-turn uh, just now was another bit of convenience. If you saw earlier, there was a petrol station or a gas station, as you would say in the United States. Uh, so, you know, 10 minutes away from where I am, I can feed this baby, yeah, when she's thirsty. And uh, you find that normally in, in neighborhoods like this, it's not just one, there's several actually, and all within uh, a 10 minute ride or a 10 minute drive before getting home. So of course, if you're lucky, it's right across the street. And then, then they're open 24 7, of course. And the good thing about that is. That's a lot of buses. Well, the good thing about that is they have little shops in there as well. So if you happen to uh, miss out on something and you need something really badly, you can just drive out to the petrol station or the gas station and get what you need. They got everything. You'd be surprised. Even little electronics. And I saw them selling mobile phones, as they should, right? I'm heading my way back home. On the right hand side is the medical center. So that you to handle all your medical needs. Uh, and as you can see, on the right hand side, another petrol station. Hey. Uh, the problem with this mount is that it's not tight enough and the uh, vibrations from my bike is causing it to causing the camera to go forward <laughs> now see another mall on the right hand side uh, school junction 9 smaller one uh, two or three stories um, basically electronics some clothes lots of food though Surprising. Well, like I said earlier, Singaporeans just love their, just love to eat, you know. And uh, a shopping mall that doesn't have good range of food, uh, it's not a shopping mall here, you know. I I'm sure that it's the same uh, for most places. Uh, I remember when I was in California, though, the malls that I was there, there weren't that many restaurants. You know, it's a lot of uh, retail shops and stuff. So I don't know, you know. Singaporeans love to shop and eat, eat and shop, and so forth. <laughs> On the left hand side here is another temple. More uh, of the government built blocks. And here at this traffic light. And on the right hand side you have uh, all the condominiums really expensive ones as well um, on the left hand side in front uh, we have uh, this industrial buildings uh, with little shops in them and then again another little food shop below you can see the sign here Northland Secondary School so there are a couple of schools here also in the neighborhood so like I said everything can be People don't have to travel to send their kids to school. Everything's around here. I know there's a, there's a, a large university on the right hand side, further down. Uh, and all of this is available here. I, I checked uh, Google Maps before going on this little route. And uh, it is roughly round trip, about 2.4 kilometers. So, sorry mate, I, I went above. Uh, the actual thing. Anyway, uh, I'm at the end of uh, 
my trip and almost to the end of uh, my journey a really quick one so thank you very much folks for uh, watching this video uh, I do hope that you like it uh, if you're new here please do uh, click the like button and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and of course hit that notification bell to let you know of my next video once again folks uh, thank you very much for watching I hope that you and your family stay safe and have safe rides